it's just part of the business, you know. Uh, UFC is still fairly a new business, and it's kind of growing. And, um, you know, in, in, in new businesses, you have growing pains and stuff to do. It's just something we're going to have to adjust and get used to. But are you going to do them saying You know, it's tough to say. I, I mean, initially, yeah, I'm not making, I'm not right off the bat, but uh, you can still make make money outside of the cage. So, it's you know, I'm going to definitely put putting a squeeze on my manager to kind of make up that, that money a little bit. What's your uh, pick for the McGregor Aldo fight, and how do you think it's going to go? Yeah, you know, I, I think um, it's it's a favorable matchup for McGregor. I think McGregor matches up well with Aldo. I think, um, but since we still kind of have some unknowns about about McGregor, he's only had what three, four fights in UFC. Even though he's done such a great job, and what we do know of him, he's very dominant. He's never been adver through adversity yet, at least in the UFC. We've never seen his ground game. You know, we, we don't know how his conditioning is once he gets into the deeper rounds. Um, so when a fight's kind of a toss-up for me, you, you got to go with the champion. McGregor talks a lot about the, the other fighters around the division, but he doesn't seem to say too many bad things about you. Um, what do you think about that, the, the, the respect he seems to show for you? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why. I think uh, you know, I think a lot of fighters kind of talk bad about him sometimes, and he maybe kind of reciprocates. But uh, you know, I don't have to say anything bad about him. I, you know, I don't really know him. I don't know him that, like, that personally. I know him as a fighter, and as a fighter, he's a, he's a phenomenal fighter, you know. And, we don't know. He, maybe he is going to live up to everything he's saying. We just don't know yet. Uh, if he were to win, would a, a fight in Croke Park in Dublin be interesting to you? It'd be interesting, yeah, <laughs> for sure. I'd have to bring some crew with me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, thanks, Frank. Yeah. Great question. Um, according to uh, Uriah earlier, he's planning to bring it uh, on Saturday, uh, put a lot of pace, uh, pressure on fight. Uh, how are you planning to uh, tackle that kind of approach? Uh, yeah, I mean, I bring it every time, so I hope he brings it, you know. Um, that's what we came here to do. We came here to fight and put on a show, and I hope he brings it, and we'll make it a night to remember. Um, how, what can you say, or what are the flaws that you can actually see in uh, Uriah's uh, game that you can you know, possibly uh, exploit? Saturday. Yeah, you know, you don't see too many flaws in his game. He's, he's a, you know, he's a mixed martial artist. He kind of, you know, transitions from each style, you know, pretty well. Uh, he can do it all. He's not like a one-trick guy. He, you know, he throws on on his feet. He goes for takedowns. He's got great submissions. You know, sometimes you don't find, you don't know until you're in there. You know, when you see it, that's when you have to capitalize on it.